More people die of opioids in Canada than homicide, suicide, and traffic accidents put together. So it's serious. Um, my, my own opinion is that the government's not doing an adequate job. There were 4,000 people died last year, and we haven't had the prevention, preventing fentanyl from getting into the country, uh, doing the education about the harms of drugs, and in terms of the treatment facilities and treatment capability, the government has mostly focused on safe injection sites, and that's a temporary solution. It's not the ultimate solution, which is to get people off of drugs altogether. So uh, we're calling on the government to focus on prevention and treatment, and I think that's where they need to go if we're going to cure this issue. We've started to see uh, methamphetamine as a problem in the prairie provinces. Mm -hmm. And uh, so again, uh, the, the resolution to that is educating about the harms of drugs and providing treatment to get people off. I just, I remember when I was younger, you, you couldn't watch uh, a television show or see something without that campaign around, around drugs. And in watching TV now, you almost don't see that, that type of education. And I, I wonder if it's a, a shift from that that's allowed this to come back around, unfortunately. Well, I think you're right that uh, I'm of that vintage that remembers this is your brain on drugs and the yeah, little fried the egg fried that was uh, mm -hmm. in the pan. But um, those are the kind of promotions that we need to bring back, um, especially to make sure that people are not driving high, uh, to make sure people understand the harms. And uh, starting with the young people, because you know it's the young people who uh, get addicted and their lives are really in a death spiral essentially so we really want to get them and prevent that from happening and i understand that some of the i guess the the start of the problem can be a different type of injury so it it's it's on it's on something else it could come from the the health system and, and how they're introduced to well, it and absolutely. that's a challenge as well yeah over prescription is a huge issue um we heard testimony from a lot of addiction centers across the, the country and they said that people that were addicts today started either with prescription medication or with marijuana and so it's really important to get at the over prescription making sure that you know when kids are going to take their wisdom teeth out with dentists that they're not getting 40 percocets for that you know i was uh, back in the era when Tylenol was the solution to everything. And we've since then, Canada is the number two consumer of opioids, so we really have to get a grip on it. And is it something that's coming into the country or that, that, that's being produced here? Or do you know how Well, it it's a combination. Okay. I mean, if we talk about prescription drugs, obviously those are legitimately coming in with uh, pharma companies and doctors and dentists are prescribing them. But if you talk about uh, fentanyl and carfentanyl, these are things that are coming in illegally, um, a lot of them coming in from China and stemming those at the source, especially in Vancouver, upping the audit and security at the customs uh, operation would be key in preventing a lot of that material from coming into the country. And how do we, um, you know, the, we are, you talked about safe injection sites. And so if that's a, that's a temporary solution, we've talked about education. What about for those that are, are on that? Is there, is there another level of, of, of help to help transition someone away from the, those types of Yes, we absolutely need treatment. And there's different models we ought to be looking at. Uh, in Switzerland, for example, every family doctor is able to give methadone or suboxone treatment to get people off of drugs. Mm -hmm. Here in Canada, there are a number of pilot programs going on with nur nurse practitioners that have uh, been trained in suboxone treatment and are expanding the reach so that there's the treatment capacity we need. Because today, there's a lot of people in safe injection sites that want to get off drugs, but it's a six-month wait to get treatment. Mm -hmm. And you know, by then, the opportunity is lost. 